What's up, everybody? It's a mess in the garage today, but we got a lot of projects going on. We got the Kawasaki Vulcan S here. We just put saddlebags on it. No video on that, but they look pretty good. Also, putting a X pipe on the Speed Twin. Hopefully, I'll be doing some videos on that soon. But today, we are doing a DNA air filter on the Speed Twin. I know it's kind of pointless to change out the air filter after a thousand miles, but um, this one supposedly uh, benefits you performance-wise, so I'm trying to make this baby faster. So basically all you're going to need is um, some hose clamp pliers, um, pre preferably the flexible kind. Honestly, some regular pliers will do just fine. Um, you're also going to need a... T20 Torx bit. Um, I use I like this style, but you can also use um, this style with like a with some sort of ratchet. So that's basically it. Oh, and if you stick around to the end of the video, I have a little surprise for you guys. If you like my videos and you want to see more, please leave a like and subscribe. It would be great. I see all your views and I reply to all your comments. If you'd like to see something in the next video, just leave a comment. If I'm doing something wrong, let me know. All right, let's get on with it. You're gonna want to pull this baffle out um, if I'm correct the sole purpose of this is to obviously seal the intake pipe but it's also a air intake baffle so it reduces intake noise which I actually want more of so we're actually gonna take this out and we're gonna leave this out when we put it back together
just wanted to follow up with everybody about my little incident on the last video where I tested out my helmet camera and well I dropped it on the ground and it landed on the touchscreen side so because they have no buttons on them my camera is now locked in video mode 1080p only I can't uh, delete videos or anything so um, my lovely girlfriend and I uh, both purchased a GoPro Hero 7 it just came in the mail so I'm excited about this this will let me take a 4k video at 60 FPS um, it's got hyper smooth whatever that is but uh, this will definitely improve the quality of my videos and yeah now I have a second camera so um, might even get into dual view videos and some other good stuff thanks for watching